Creating and adjusting columns in a Microsoft Word document is pretty straightforward and can allow for easier reading of text depending on the size of the paper and font. We can use almost any text, such as the sample here, so once we have a piece of work written, we can simply go to the Layout tab, and in the Page Setup group, we can click the Columns drop-down. We can go with any of the presets, but at the bottom of the list, clicking More Columns gives us the dialog box and better control. The presets are right at the top, and we can click any one we like, and OK out. We'll go with two for this first example. Since we aren't using section breaks here, which we discuss in another post, the entire document is laid out with the two column format. If we bring the dialog box up again, we can use the number of columns control here to set any number we want up to 13 or so. And that'd be kind of silly for letter size paper, but for something larger it might be viable. Going back to our two column layout, another element that we want to look at is the space between the columns. A good minimum would be about half an inch, as the idea is to see clearly where one stops and another starts. We can adjust with the spinner arrows up and down as we see fit. We can also uncheck the equal column width box if we want to customize the columns one at a time. Then we can use the spinner to bring whichever column width up or down. And if the text and layout allow, the checkbox for line between can provide a clear border between the columns. And once we have a setup we want or that we like, we can OK out again and see how things look. The real trick is to strike a balance among the number of columns, the space between them, and most importantly the font and font size. The rule of thumb in setting up columns is that each line of text in each column should have about five to seven or perhaps eight words for readability, any more, and the purpose of the columns to reduce visual leaping back and forth as we go from line to line is blunted less and the meaning of the text can be harder to follow. Of course, Microsoft Word allows easy experimenting of this sort, and one can always use undo and just go back to where one started. So if one has leeway and time, it's certainly fine to try it out. If there are specific parameters one has to follow on some of the elements, such as the number of columns, at least the user can work within those.